Hello everybody and welcome back to the Pokemon Platinum Fafluk series. In the last episode we got started in our criminal adventure and I could have sworn I did heal. I didn't. We caught this Starly from a from a trainer, from a random trainer. It's ours now. It's it's Toby. Toby the Starly. It's it's part of our team. And in this episode we are going to uh, hopefully get ourselves a Chimchar. That would be great because... That would mean I have two out of three starters, and I think we might actually be able to fight Dawn at some point, which would mean we also can get a Piplup starter, which means we can get all three starters in one team unless something dies before that, uh, which is a real possibility. So before we actually go do that, let me go up uh, to this route and uh, let me actually pull up Serebi.net real quickly um, because I want to know what the trainers here have um also pokemon sword and shield news i haven't been keeping up with but i just see one of the new pokemon and it looks kind of interesting you guys can't see what i'm looking at so i'm going to go to pocky off and then uh let's see this is where Sinnoh. that's Sinnoh. route 204 or what uh trainers do we have in Platinum version. Let's see, that's World Pokemon. We don't care about that. Probably should have done this before I started recording, I'm very aware. Trainers, Diamond and Pearl. I don't care about that. Platinum. We have somebody with a Shinx and somebody with a Badoo. And then up uh, on the other side of the route, we have somebody with a Badoo and somebody with a Beautiful and a Rosalia. Oh no, wait a second. That's just the Versus Seeker version of the same trainer. And then we have somebody with a Magikarp. Uh, the Magikarp is the youngster, so we probably don't want to do that. Um, because I would very much like the Shinx. I don't want the Badoo, but they're both lasses. Actually, are they the same lass? No, one is Lass Sarah and the other is Lass Samantha. I want Lass Sarah. I, I can't be sure which one is which is the thing. So I'm just going to go and I guess the first one you run into is the one with the Shinx. And we're going to try to capture the Shinx. Thing is, uh, for the next round, I'm not going to have to do this. Okay, so we can capture the Shinx. That's very, very good. Uh, because I like an electric type. For the next round, we're not going to have to do this because uh, we just run into our rival as the very first battle on that route. And hopefully, hopefully that's going to nail us a Chimchar. Because I really want that Chimchar. I, I took Dan here, knowing that I was going to get a Chimchar as well, potentially, with it. And that was going to be great for the second gym. I think we get one more rival battle before uh, the second gym and after the one we are about to do. So we get one more chance of getting probably a Monferno at that point. Oh, don't attack. I know it's a trainer battle, but you're a thief. It also doesn't use a Pokeball. Huh. Huh. What do you know? It doesn't use the Pokeball. I didn't think about that. I didn't even really see that as an option, to be honest. Also, the fact that we caught two Pokemon back to back without any issues uh, doesn't mean that Pokemon are a guaranteed capture. Not by any means. Um, Pokemon can still escape a Pokeball. The nickname for Shinx. Let's go back to my subscription list here. Um, see if anybody really springs out at me well i don't know why but green um a minecraft youtuber you might know him you might not um you probably do <laughs> because i think he has a fair number of subscribers right i don't even know how many he has just kind of shinks it just kind of works for me how many subscribers does green have yeah 4.1 million that's about um 4.1 million more than me <laughs> So I don't think he's uh, really in need of a shout-out from me. Uh, but he is a different kind of content creator than me, right? Because I don't really do Minecraft. I've been thinking about it, uh, but I don't think I want to do Minecraft, really, because I'm very inconsistent with Minecraft. Um, sometimes I play, like, an entire day of Minecraft, and then I won't play for an entire week, and then I'll play, like, an entire day, and then I won't play for a week again, and I'm very not consistent with how I play Minecraft. So maybe don't build, like a content structure on top of that um 
I don't know where to get the pocket hatch, is the thing. Do we just get it? Oh, Luke is going to tell us we have to get the pocket hatch first, right? Yeah, okay. So we're going to have to get the pocket hatch and then we can go fight our rival, which is named James. Hello there, you should stick around. We're doing a campaign soon. Before it starts, you should brush up on the trainer school. Do we battle you in the trainer school instead in this game? Because that would be... That would be very nice. That would give me an extra encounter. I would very much appreciate that, to be honest. Please fight me. Usually I wouldn't want to fight. Oh, the parcel. It's a town map, right? Yeah, town map. Please fight me. I want to fight you. Maybe I can fight one of the trainers over to the right there. Which would just be a free encounter. Uh, we're also going to keep with the rule I stated last time, especially since there's going to be probably a lot more encounters than this one, is that once a Pokemon is on the team, I can't take it off until it dies. Oh, I probably I should have checked which one of them was the better encounter. Uh, you start with a Starly, which I already have, so that's Dupe's Claws. I'm going to guess that's uh, the one on the right there also... Um, I've been having issues with my eye. I, I don't know if you can see, but it's a little bit red and it's a little bit, like, itchy. I probably shouldn't touch it too much, to be honest. Uh, but it's... When you're not paying attention to it, it's, uh, it's real difficult. If you're just rambling on and playing a game and, like... It's just... It's easy to just start, like, rubbing it and... and well, you can't really scratch your eye. If you're scratching your eye, you're doing something horribly, horribly wrong. Uh, but you can rub it and that just makes it worse and makes it go like all red and big and, and painful and it's like a burning kind of pain and... Can I battle you as well? What do you have? Do you have something that I can actually capture is the question. You have a Bidoof, which I don't have yet. So we're going to hopefully capture this Bidoof as well. And at that point, I think we'll have four Pokemon on our team. So we need to be a little bit careful with our captures because these are a lot of like early game, not very strong Pokemon. And I think there's a couple of Pokemon that are going to be very useful coming up. I'm just going to throw a ball. Um, I don't know how I'm going to deal with the fact that uh, Pokeballs don't get used up. I think I'm just going to accept it, frankly. Because you, I've never really run into the issue, well, once or twice, admittedly. Uh, well, usually you don't run into the issue where you can't afford Pokeballs or uh, you have to buy Pokeballs so you can't buy healing items. That's not something that happens a lot in Nuzlocke, so it's not going to matter too much. I'm just going to get a couple of every single ball I want and then... It's it's just something that's going to be good for me. So Bidoof, who am I going to insult? Um, because nobody wants to be Bidoof, right? Nobody wants to be Bidoof. Um, let me just look through this list, which is really difficult when there's a thousand of them. I'm going to go with Michael because uh, from from Vsauce because. Uh, He's uh, a little bit of a uh, goofy kind of guy, so I mean, just just Google him. Four out of the <laughs> six, pic eight pictures, I don't know, uh, have him doing like this goofy face, which I can't replicate. Uh, so I think Badoof kind of works for him. Uh, also, I, I like how nobody is upset that I just steal that Pokemon. So uh, let's just take a quick look at our team, right? Because we have got Dan, we've got Toby, we've got Green, and we've got Michael. And we're going to add a Chimchar to that very, very soon, hopefully. It could be potentially something other than the Chimchar. Um, I hope it's not going to be. Because, again, I really want that fire type. There's not that many fire types. And uh, especially, I don't think there's a lot of fire type trainers. And I, There's not a fire type gym either, because the fire type uh, guy is an Elite Four member in this game. So if I can't capture the Chimchar... There's not going to be a lot of options for me to get a fire type. And if the Chimchar dies, fire types are an issue. I, I don't know if you noticed, but fire types are going to be a real issue to come across. And it is just an issue in general in Sinnoh, admittedly. Um, 
But twin typings are going to be difficult to come across. Other ones are going to be a lot easier, I imagine. Um, like getting a steel type, if you want that. Just, we can get one in the steel type gym. And I don't think we would usually easily be able to capture a steel type. Also, I just mashed the A button and I got a coupon. Okay, let's actually try to answer this one. Um, just like Pokemon moves, yes. Is the answer to all of the questions just yes? Or is coupon one no? Because I got coupon three before, there's a coupon two. I never can remember where the third one is. Oh, he's right over there. <coughs> okay, so maybe two hours of recording in a single day. Not a good thing for your voice. I'm a Pokéhead uh, clown, blah, 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 blah. Um, so all the answers are literally just yes. That's not very challenging, is it? Let's go get our Pokéhatch and... Um, I, I guess we... What app should we use? Because I, there's not really a use in having the team preview up there because it's in the layout. And I definitely don't need the clock on there because that's just not interesting. It's such a great improvement though that from Diamond and Pearl to this one is that you can cycle both directions with the Pokéhead chaps. Um, a calculator? This is just a step counter? And we don't have anything else yet, so... For the time being, I guess it's going to be... The team preview. Which is a little bit sad, because... What I'm doing all this editing and Photoshop work for if I'm just gonna have it on the bottom screen? Well, I know why, because I have an idea. I don't know if I'm gonna do this, because I haven't edited the first one yet. But I want all the uh, images to have, like, the little Zoro mask. Which is also in the logo for the series. So I'm going to like Photoshop on thief masks to every single one of my Pokemon. I think that'll look cute. Or it'll look horrible. One or the other. <laughs> so Route 203. And can we... No, we cannot uh, get past you. Not that I want to, because I have been hyping up this encounter to capture your Chimchar for like... Literally since we started this series. And you only have two Pokemon, so you're starting with Stardew, which I can take out, and then you have Chimchar. I'm going to be able to capture the Chimchar. Yes! I mean, I might not it might not stay in the ball because it's a starter Pokemon, which I think have pretty low catch rates. Um But still, I'm gonna get a chance to get the Chimchar, which is gonna be great. Um, and after this, I'm going to have to grind a little bit, because I have a very full team for being at Route 203. I'm aware. But I haven't actually been able to catch more Pokémon than you usually would in this part of the game, because usually you would be able to catch a Pokémon on... Well, would you be able to catch a Pokémon on Route 201 because you got your starter there? So that's a little bit iffy. But you would have been able to catch one on the Ver uh, Verity Lakefront, or Lake Verity, anyway, which I wasn't able to catch anything there. Then one on Route 202, where I got a trainer encounter. And then one on uh, Route 204, where I got a trainer encounter. And then one on this route, where I'm getting a trainer encounter. And the one I got in Jubilife City uh, makes up for the one that I didn't get at the beginning of the game. So, really... I'm not having any more Pokemon as of right now. It's going to be a lot more at a certain point in the game. But right now, I don't have more Pokemon than I usually would in a normal Nuzlocke. Which is a little bit weird, because I have a lot of Pokemon. So, I learned Absorb. That's going to be very useful, because I'm not going to stay in against a Chimchar. Because it might have a Fire-type move already. So, let's go into Michael. Hello, Chimchar. Michael here. But what is here? I know that the joke has been done to death, but it's level 9. Okay, it's going to be good for our team. It has Scratch. Well, we just turned level 9 and we got a grass up move, so I'm pretty sure it's going to have Amber. So it's a good thing that I switched out, but it did a lot of damage with that Scratch. I'm going to do one more attack, and then I'm going to try to cow. That's our first death. That's our first death of the series. But what is death? 
it's when your body stops working. And what is after death? I'm not gonna get into that. No religion here. I'm not gonna get into religion. <laughs> Let's capture this chimchar. Oh my god, this is gonna be annoying. This chimchar might be a bit of an issue, but... I will sacrifice everything on my team to capture this chimchar, because I've been hyping up this chimchar. <laughs> now I need this chimchar on my team. And it's also just good for type coverage, right? Having the chimchar to go with the turd wig, and having two starters in general would be nice. The thing is, uh, starting from after this battle, I'm probably not going to be able to capture any of my rival's Pokemon ever again, because it's going to end mostly with uh, his starter every single time. And I'm not dealing any damage to you. And if you scratch me once, Green is gonna be Grigon. So I'm gonna throw a ball at you again. I guess it, this does allow me to keep just throwing balls until it stays, right? Uh, the fact that it doesn't actually use our Pokeballs. So that's a little bit cheaty. I'm going to throw one more ball, and if that doesn't do it, I'm going to tackle one more time. Because if I tackle two more times and the second one is a crit, it's just going to be a very bad day for me. We got the Chimchar! Okay, so let's uh, keep going through my subscription list. Um, let's see if we can find anything that is good for me to call this Chimchar. Um... I might just have to cut a little bit, because again, a thousand subscriptions. Well, seeing as how it is a fire type, I looked into what YouTubers I know that like setting things on fire. And uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Kevin, because I'm pretty sure that's uh, the name of uh, the Backyard Scientist, which is a very fun channel, and he does quite often set things on fire, and it's very entertaining. I wanted to go with... Um, the King of Random. But obviously, uh, Chimchar, the one we just caught, is a guy. And um, what's her name? I don't remember right now. Um, it's obviously a girl. And I'm going to try to pay attention to that. I haven't done that so far in this. Sorry, Michael. Uh, you were a female. Grian, also a female. Toby is a male. And Dan is also a male. So, I made two mistakes so far. I'm going to try and keep gender... Uh, into account, but we've already had our first loss of the series, which is uh, not a good thing, not a good thing whatsoever. But we also have a gym chart, so we have two starters, which is amazing. And one of them, both of them actually, are level nine, and the other two Pokemon we have are a little bit lower level. And I think we're going to be able to capture one more Pokemon this episode because I uh, it's in the cave which uh, leads to Orburg City. I don't think in Orburg City itself we're going to capture any Pokémon, and in Orburg Mines we won't be able to capture any Pokémon. Uh, the route north of Orburg does not train us uh, which we can access yet, so we can't capture any Pokémon there, I don't think. And uh, these trainers are all kind of like not important for me right now. Because I've already caught something on this route, and it was a Chimchop. So, again, uh, yeah, I'm starting to really think that definitely this is a way, 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 way easier version of a Nuzlocke than a normal Nuzlocke. I wasn't sure going into this whether this was going to be easier or harder. It's going to be easier. Next time I do this, uh, I'm definitely going to randomize it because um, while there is a little bit of fun and strategy for checking the data of the routes and seeing what Pokemon can I capture here and uh, planning it out that way. Having it being randomized is a lot more fun, I think, because it doesn't necessarily mean that the best Pokemon for your rival, for instance, is going to be the last one, because he could start with a uh, with a Registeel. <clears throat> and then go into a Altaria and end with a Sunflora, and you would only be able to capture the Sunflora, which wouldn't be good. Wouldn't be good at all. So, uh, yeah, that's also a good question. What happens when you switch, uh, when your opponent switches Pokemon out? Um, just the last living Pokemon is the thing you can capture here. So there is two trainers here, and I'm actually going to look up... Uh, also, Itchy Nose, Itchy Nose, Itchy Nose. 
Uh, let's look up um, South Exit is Jubilife City. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to run away from this thing. Then the East Exit Route 203. Jan Orberg Gate, uh, which has wild Pokemon, which I don't care about. Diamond Pearl Trainers, I don't care about. It's uh, Bidoof and uh, Starly and Shinx. I have all three of those, so I'm just going to skip both of these trainers. Because um, I have all three of those, so why would I even battle them? So I can't capture any more Pokemon this episode, is what I'm what I'm hearing, really. Because I don't think there's any Pokemon around Orberg which I can capture. Okay, so we're going to skip through this little bit of uh, exposition uh, tutorial. And... Maybe there's a trainer in the Orberg mines? I don't think there is. I mean, there's a gym leader, but we don't fight him in there, obviously. Um, let me go check up north, uh, because there might be a trainer here anyway. I don't think there is. Are you a trainer? You're not a trainer, you're just a biker. Okay, so I can't get anything there until I exit it to in a city. Uh, what's with my itchy nose today? Holy crap! Maybe I just need to sneeze. And I don't think any of these guys battle you either, right? No, they don't. But I did see an item over here, which I would very much like to check out what it is. It's probably not going to be anything too... Oh, two items even. It's a dire hit. Yay. We're never going to use that. And a yellow shot. Yay. We're never going to use that either. So, going into Orberg Mine. Hopefully there is a... Are you a trainer? I don't think there's any trainers in here, which is a shame. Because I would have very much liked to capture one more Pokemon, which probably would be a rock type, which wouldn't be very good for the upcoming gym, and would actually be very bad for the gym after that, now that I think about it. Um, this theft lock thing, I just realized, by the way, is uh, kind of good for Johto. Isn't it? Because isn't uh, there a thing in Johto where every single gym beats the uh, typing beats the typing for the gym after it. Like, Flying beats Bugsy, and then Bugsy doesn't beat Whitney, and then Normal doesn't beat anything. Uh, what is the fourth gym? Uh, maybe it's actually the other way around. Maybe it's weak, because you have Normal to, to Ghost, right? Right? Am I going crazy? What is the order of gyms? Whitney is the third and Morty is the fourth, right? That's not the other way around in Johto. But I know Price, um, the seventh gym is Eyes and then the eighth is... is Dragon and the sixth is Steel. The fifth is Fighting. So yeah, every single gym pretty much is super effective against the next gym. So if you can steal a strong Pokemon with that typing, the next gym is going to be fairly easy for you. Um, so there is no trainers in here, which is going to, uh, suck a little bit. You know what I do find in here quite a lot, though? Zubat. It's, uh, the bat that zoo. It's a, it's a, it's a zoo bat. It's a bat zoo. Is that a thing in zoos? Like, having bats? Oh, there is a trainer in here! He's probably not going to have anything that I'm going to be very happy about, but there is a trainer in here which has a Geodude. It's better than nothing. It's better than nothing, right? It's better than nothing. And at some point, it's going to come in useful. Unless it dies. It lives. Okay, so I'm definitely going to capture it. I'm also going to try capturing uh, another rock type soon, though. So that might be an issue. Wait, how did I get a six Pokeball? Did I pick up a Pokeball on the overworld? Or did the game just glitch out and, rather than subtracting uh, a Pokeball from my inventory, give me one? Because that would actually be hilarious. Okay, Geodude. Um, Geodude, 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 Geodude. Who is a lot like Geodude? Um, or Graveler or Golem, really? 
Uh, I do want to give it a nickname. I just don't know what it is going to be yet. I have literally been sitting here for um, the better part of uh, uh, close to 10 minutes at this point, uh, looking through my subscriptions, and I really can't find a very good one. So I just refreshed uh, my homepage and just figured I'm going um, to go with the first uh, person I see and recognize uh, I am actually subscribed to and that was uh, Jordan from Captain Sparkles so Jordan the Geodude is now part of our team and I think it literally survived with 1 HP because it has sturdy oh no it has 2 HP I, I just wasn't strong enough but it might have sturdy it has rock head <laughs> okay never mind ruin my dreams and that's going to be the team we're going to use to go into the first gym next episode. I'm going to level up a little bit, not too much, because I feel like we're at a decent level. I think uh, Rorik's highest level Pokemon is like level 11, I want to say. And uh, we have a pretty good advantage with Turdwig. And we're going to be able to capture one of those Pokemon anyway. So I feel like the next gym isn't going to be too difficult because we're going to avoid gym trainers because we want to capture the uh, cranidos anyway and then we only have to take out i think one geo dude and then he has the cranidos which we're going to try to capture so i don't think the gym will be too difficult so i'm not going to over level too much i think i'm going to just get the rest of my team all up to level nine as well because it's not going to be a long gym battle and we're probably going to I want to say get to like the Flamora uh, town stuff and capture like one or two more Pokemon around there as well. Uh, which we won't be able to add to the team unless anything dies because uh, Rorik's Cranidos. It's Cranidos, right? Because Rampordos is the evolution. I always get them mixed up. I mean, I get most of the fossils mixed up because I don't usually use them. Um... It's going to be a pretty well-balanced team. We have a grass type, we have a flying type, we have an electric type, we have a fire type. We're going to have two rock types. So I think Geodude is going to... I mean, if it survives, it survives, right? I'm not going to kill it off in order to replace it. But if at any point in any battle I need a sacrifice, it's going to be Geodude. Just want you to know. Um... Because I prefer using gym leader uh, Pokemon. It, it's just a little bit of, like, fun. I don't know how long this episode has been because there's been like two or three uh, pauses in it where I was looking up nicknames, but I think it's long enough to call an episode and uh, well there's nothing else I can do anyway before the next gym battle. So until the next time, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you have enjoyed this video and answer the comment question of the day which I didn't include in this video so it's just in text down below. Until the next time, I'll see you all back then. Bye.